What's up guys, Devin and I are out here at a spot we know there's a pond at, which would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> we're out here, we're gonna do a video featuring some catch code baits today. Uh, we are gonna fish a pond just on the other side of this tree line right here that we know we can get through a little fence and it's uh, a small little pond with almost no trees, no nothing around it. We're gonna see if there's even fish in this thing, but uh, we do wanna thank Catch Code for sponsoring this video and we're gonna be throwing a couple of hard hat jigs is what they're called. One's a rear swing loader. I'm gonna overlay some video right here. And one is just a standard jig and we're going to uh, see what we can't put together with them. We're just gonna toss on a couple of our favorite soft plastics and get to work. All right, we just rolled up. We'll probably give this thing a solid 10, 15 minutes and if it doesn't work out and we don't think there's fish in here, then we are gonna move on to a place where we know these things will crush it. First GoPro look at this jig right here. Check that sucker out. Goes great with the blue baby color bandito bug. This thing looks delectable. Look at that. Uh, she's rigged up and making the first cast and here's our rear swing loader. It just goes all over the place. Interesting. I'm just going to tie a little bandito bug on here I think and have at it. Go with something slightly different than she's using so we've got a chance to kind of double up on the effectiveness. Of, like essentially Texas rig it. Oh this water's not that bad. If there was little fish in here they're going to be bunched up by these trees and the big fish are going to be scouting the area hanging out. So this would be I think where they're at. We gave it a fair circle around the pond, but there's nothing here but mosquitoes, so we're off to the real deal. All right, rolling up to spot number two. Oh, maybe. Yep. Yep. There he is. First one on the rear swing loader jig. That's a two plus easy. All right guys, first one on that rear swing loader jig. Super sick. It's uh, it's almost just like a Texas rig. Uh, the way I rigged it with a bandito bug, just black and blue. Yeah, check him out. Solid chunk. And he, uh, he hit it pretty good. I knew he had it, so I cranked that reel down, set that sucker to the side, nailed him. Operation Save Catch Co. There we go. Got him free. Good thing this video is sponsored. I can afford me some new vans. He bit pretty far out. There he is. Got him. Number two. Yep. Come on over here. Nice. They're just out deep. Just a couple casts later, you guys, on that rear loader swing jig. Probably gonna have to go grab some more banditos at this rate. He's getting torn up, but uh, second fish out of here pretty quick. A couple casts later, they're out deep, I think. We're just gonna keep on throwing right here. I bet you we get a couple more. Switch me. Uh, Devin's gonna pick up that black and blue bandito bug. They might like that dark color more. That's kind of what could be enticing them. The blue baby's just a little bit lighter and more natural in appearance, and they might, uh, they might not be about it. I don't know. Crap. Oh no. I ripped it out of his mouth. If I had one. It's tough to say. Oh, got him, got him, got him. He came back for it. He saw it sink again. Oh, this one's heavier. Yes, yes, this one's bigger. This one's bigger, Devin. Okay, he's just a good fighter. <laughs> That's three in like 10 minutes. Where's my bandito? He smoked the bandito. Fish number four. They're absolutely smoking it right now. The bite is on. I gotta run to the car and grab some more trailers, but uh, I might even get the scale because this place is known for some big ones. We ain't found them yet, but I'm telling you, as soon as that right one hits, it's game over. Oh, 
Yes? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Ooh! Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. That's a good one. Keep it I think it's kind of big. I think it's kind of big. Keep that thing vertical. Keep that thing sideways. Yes. Oh! <laughs> oh, you! Okay, bring him here. Bring him here. Oh, God. Devin just smoked one. It's a big one. It's like flopping away. <laughs> we just gotta get it on the scale to see if it's our PB. Current one is three and a half pounds. Dang, look at that. That could be a four pounder, babe. There we go. <laughs> this is for the big ones. Holy crap. I was gonna say, he's about the same. I felt him hit, like just like tap it just a little bit. And I was like, I think I had a little bit of a hit, but he didn't take it. I gave him a second. I definitely thought that there were, felt that there was tension and then just cranked it down and set it. And then I just like kind of stopped. And so and Weston had four back to back to back. And I was like, dang it, it's my turn. So, you know, I had to get the biggest one so far. Devin and I are in a pickle. The bite's on and we both need new banditos. <laughs> and me and my unorganized self and all these plastics, I don't know where they're at. I gotta clean this thing out. Okay, black and blue, that's me. Wait, that's you. Just put the whole thing on there. Here's blue baby for the jig. Sweet. They are loving these jigs, you guys. So sick. And on your jigs, guys, you always want to, we didn't have to trim down the skirt because it's cut perfectly for this bait. And what you can see is those flippers can still flip free and the, the jig skirt isn't affecting it. Now, if the skirt was longer, like a lot of them come from the factory, that way you can adjust them how you want. Maybe you're using a longer bait, but then you tie something short on like this, you want to snip them down a little bit and just make sure you got that skirt shortened. Same thing, jig modifications, guys, with these right here with that hook guard as you can fan it out a little bit to catch less grass. Now it's a little bit wider and it helps you ease through that grass without getting caught if you fan these, uh, these weed guards out a little bit. Dang, that was a big one. There's bigger. I caught one a pound bigger. No! Right when it hit the water! Right when it hit the water! They're on fire! It didn't even sink to the bottom. Summertime fishing, guys. Oh my gosh. Summertime fishing. She had the biggest one. Is it still the biggest though? <laughs> She still got me beat. Oh man. This one could be three pounds though. Okay. <laughs> Y'all better root for her in the comments because right now it's five to one. Look at that sucker. Oh my goodness. They're all fat too. Yes. They're schooled up out there. They're doing That's a good hook set, Daddy. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> These things are just. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh. No, he's on. I don't know what that was. Mud? Was it? Wow. Oh my god. He is fighting. He did speed the bug. No. <laughs> Fatter than the last one. I think so. Devin just caught our new PB, you guys, on the Catchco baits. Yes. Oh, this guy is a tank. It's just popping on the bottom. Little pops going really, really slow. And I felt it just absolutely slam it. And uh, I set the hook and I didn't feel it budge at all. And it was, I could tell it was definitely a little bit bigger. And going through the water, he jumped out and totally spit out the bandito bug and everything. So, my new PB. Yeah, sometimes we're quick to quick to set it, but sometimes you have to be. It's like, it's crazy. Oh, got, got a doink. I think he let go of it. No way. They're playing hardball now. All right, guys, the bites died down a little bit. We moved over. We came over here to this little waterfall on the rocks. Uh, typically in the evenings, they might come over to feed at places like this. That water's dropping in the bugs and little insects. The smaller fish are hanging out over here in the shallow ends. And then those big bass come in and creep up for dinner time. So we're going to try and take advantage of that. I'm going to switch it up to a crawl style bait. And uh, dude, I think the, the weight of this jig and that football head is just perfect. The rate of fall today is what they're really loving. So the weight is just right. And so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to toss something different on there, see if we can't get a couple more 
bites before we head out of here, but it's been a fantastic evening. It literally has been maybe an hour's worth of fishing and we've already cranked on some big ones and good numbers. So we are definitely thrilled with today. But uh, yeah, a few more casts. All right guys, switching it up to a color that might not necessarily be 100% ideal, but that's okay. It's gonna be a watermelon red crawl. And I'm going to take off one section of it because like I say, the, the body of this jig, the hook is a little shorter. So taking off one section should be enough, and if not, I'll even take off one more. Okay, we got it. Yeah, they switched up their attitude. All right guys, that right there is what nailed the biggest fish of the night. Yeah, you guys gotta go ahead and check out Catchco. I'll leave a link down in the description and go ahead and pick some of these up. It's pretty cool. It's like the Lazy Man's Texas rig because all you gotta do is tie that sucker on there and then put your favorite plastic. You don't gotta worry about a bullet weight. You don't have to worry about a stopper. It's literally just good to go. The hook is tack sharp and it nails the big ones. So thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.